All right, we're going to do quick check 3.7.B. It says the molar mass of ethanol is 46.07 grams per mole. How many moles of ethanol are 1.9 grams of ethanol? So um, we always want to turn grams into moles by dividing by molar mass. So we take 1.19 grams of ethanol. At this point, we don't know the formula, so we'll just go with what we got. And if this is grams, we have to put grams down here. We know that the molar mass is 46.07 grams per mole. So now our grams are going to cancel and this will result in the moles of the ethanol. So 1.9 divided by 46.07 or 1.19 excuse me divided by 46.07 gives me an answer of 0 0.0258 mole which you could also write 2.588 e negative 2 if you want to. All right, the next question says, how many carbon atoms are in the sample? And now it gives you the formula is C2H6O. So um, this is kind of like part A and this is part B. So let's go ahead and pretend we don't know anything and start from the beginning. So let's just pretend it said that the sample is 1.19 grams as it does. And now we know ethanol is C2H6O. Turn grams into moles by dividing by the molar mass. Now we're in mole of ethanol. And we always want to go from grams to mole to molecule to atom and back, if we got to go back. So we already went from gram to mole. Now we got to go from mole to molecule and molecule to atom. So if this is mole, we got to put mole here. What do we know about moles? Well, we know that a mole has 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. All right, um, the next step, now we've got to go from molecule to atom. So you know down here is going to be molecule. And up here is going to be atom. And the question was how many carbon atoms? So what in one molecule of this C2H6O, how many carbon atoms are there? Uh, there are two carbon atoms. So we're going to multiply it by 2. So I'm going to do the whole thing. 1.19 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd times 2 divided by 46.07. And I get an answer of 0 0.311 times 10 to the 23rd. If you didn't do the 10 to the 23rd, let's, let's go ahead and make sure that this is in scientific notation. So in order to do that, you want to take this and put it in scientific notation first. That would be 3.11 times 10 to the negative 1, and now we bring down that times 10 to the 23rd, which would be 3.11 times 10 to the negative 1 plus 23, or 3.11 times 10 to the 22. Or your book might have you put it 3.11 E, 22 carbon atoms. All right, um, I'm going to do, I'm going to hang on here while I double check my answers because I usually like to calculate twice times 2 divided by 46.07 so I don't confuse anybody or screw up and I get the same answer. So have a good one. Good luck.